Um, um, Chris, good question. Because I call him fat. Yeah, he's called fat. Yeah, so here, here are the markets to win the AFC. Uh, again, it, based on what Fez is saying, you're not going to get rich betting these. I know 25 to 1 on the Steelers looks nice on your ticket, but it's essentially wallpaper. Um, and the Chiefs number at the top of the market, especially those other top teams, right? Like Bengals, Ravens. Like there's likely going to be an opportunity for you at some point. Like, Cap this for me, Fez. What are the odds that the Chiefs at any point during the regular season are a better price than plus 330 to win the conference? Pretty high, probably, right? Probably 70%, right? Yeah. Exactly. So odds are you are going to get a better number on the Chiefs. Now, now picking the right moment to time the market, as my financial advisor friends say, is very difficult to do. But Chris, that is a better way to play these large index markets, correct? Not to bet pre-flop. Wait till you get something back in return, some kind of information, and then react to how the market reacts. Well, certainly at this point, uh, there, there, there's no value in, in those markets. But uh, you, it, 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 how much worse can it get? I mean, if the Kansas, all you need is Kansas City to lose a game or two, and it, yeah. it's going to be five to one, six to one, and. Um, the the if you're going to be putting up money for a period of time, you dang well better be getting some value, and uh, there's no value uh, on that board at the moment unless uh, you know inside information that the rest of the <laughs> market doesn't know. Unless you've got the script from Goodell, there's the NFC odds. The Niners are a significant favorite. I mean, there anyone who is betting San Francisco right now today to win the NFC, Fez, you, you, you can try to sell them. Uh, what, what's the, what's the expression? I forget. Like I can sell them a you know a M- Manhattan for a bag of beans or whatever the uh, Native Americans bought it for. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Yes, is that using pursuant to that the Niners last year? You could say, well, their odds got a lot worse. It's like. You could have just waited until they were yeah. getting thumped in the playoffs and then played them live at five to one to yeah. win that game. Yes. When in the game against Detroit, right? In the riveted. second half. Yes. Yeah, that's such a great point. You literally could have waited until the second half of the NFC championship game and gotten a better number Got on the eight, Niners. Eight to to one win on the them NFC. or whatever it was that, when when the Lions were driving and and uh, yeah when they had the lead they had a yeah. they have a two score lead in the second half should yeah. have been three score if um should have been three yeah, score. Campbell Campbell went for uh, we won't get to the game to the to the uh, game by game management there but that is a oh yeah there you go there you go damn grab ocean front property yeah, yeah that's good that's good oh yeah that's I, I forgot the phrase but that's the phrase Dan thank you for chiming in here don't bet these markets now guys you'll have opportunities to do it later and we will be with you every single week of the season every Wednesday noon Pacific three o'clock Eastern to give you those buy opportunities as we continue to move forward um, with the regular season. All right.